I was prepping TikToks today and then I realized that there was an astrological transit about to happen that we'll have a part two later on in the year. So I wanted to quickly come on, explain that, give a little bit of foreshadowing as to what I expect for this with Venus entering Gemini and then Mars retrograde in Gemini to end the year. So I'll just get right into it. If you've seen my TikTok, you're probably a little bit more familiar, but if not, uh, let's dive in. So Venus is entering Gemini June 23rd until July 18th. I expect that this video will be out before that happens because I shouldn't do much editing at all, if any. I hope I don't have to redo this. I really don't fucking have time for it during NFT NYC, which yes, I am. I'm ready for it. We have many events tonight. Um, but Venus entering Gemini shows an increased appreciation for the intellect, for things that are mental rather than Venus and Taurus being like gluttony and hedonism and things physical. You might find that you're more stimulated by conversation or thought uh, with others that's like conversing, being social, rather than staying at home, like binging, drinking, enjoying a spa. You might want to go out and do things and have a little bit more fun with friends or like conversationally. It's more extroverted energy. Ironically, the sun is entering Cancer's Venus enters Gemini, which is kind of paradoxical, but Venus entering Gemini has Venus, the planet of value, love, harmony, romance, relationships, entering the sign of Mercury, the masculine sign of Mercury, where our ideas are picking up steam, the mental, the intellect is valued, and we're jumping, we're uh, jumping from idea to idea, bouncing ideas off of others. Take a shot every time I say idea in this video. Uh, but Venus and Gemini is pretty much the love of the intellect, but not in a Virgo way of criticism, more of a brainstorming way, the love of brainstorming. So we can expect uh, more good news or good things happening in the tech sector, announcements about tech releases, um, things that could be novel or beautifying or perfecting tech-related things. Um, so that's the kind of things that I would expect news-wise for Venus and Gemini. However, with Venus square to Neptune, there is the fighting over what's true information, what information do we value, very expected over the next few weeks. And the part that I realized that was interesting is that, again, from June 23rd until July 18th, Venus is in Gemini. Then July 23rd until the end of the year, until January 1st, 2023, we have Mars retrograde in Gemini. So Mars retrograde in Gemini, I'd say, is one of the gnarliest, if not the most pain in the ass transit for the entire year because Mars retrograde in Gemini, for one, is Mars retrograde, which I don't like. It's really frustrating. It shows that the Gemini house in our chart is getting a really having to go back and like redo shit that we fucked up and work hard at undoing shit. Um, but Venus in Gemini, I'm sorry, Mars in Gemini, which is going retrograde end of the year, will, um, it will square Neptune for a lot of that period. It's going retrograde, I believe, exactly square Neptune, if not just within a few degrees, which shows that we're having to go back and fix things, and we're the blind leading the blind, and we're really sure that we did something wrong, and we've muddied shit up, but we're having to swim through the mud and not know where we're headed, and blind leading the blind is a really good example, good um, metaphor for this, where what's going cute right now over the next few weeks, we will have to majorly undo and have a lot more trouble dealing with down the line. It, with the squares to Neptune, and Neptune being a planet of delusion, of fatigue, of dishonesty, of rose-colored glasses, it looks like instead of the beautiful kind of Neptune, which can be like a psychedelic trip is a good example. A really beautiful eye-opening psychedelic trip can be an untrue experience that has truth in it that teaches us something about reality. A bad psychedelic experience can be an untruth that ends up having a negative effect on the truth of reality and leading to a net negative, so to speak. I'm not here arguing about like bad trips opening your eyes. I'm just saying like objectively Neptune being spirituality, disillusionment, lies, uh, stories, things like that, there can be a positive myth and there can be a negative myth impact. And I can see that right now um, with Venus entering Gemini, first trining Saturn shows that we're committed to working hard, to having truth, to showing our values. But then squaring Neptune might be that we pull the wool over our own eyes, that we're not seeing what is real. I know that for me, Venus in my sixth house of co-workers or physical health, squaring uh, Neptune in my third house of day-to-day -day productivity and things I do on a daily basis could show that things that are going really well around my physical health or people that work for me right now, I could be overlooking some blatant things that are inhibiting my productivity or are just, I'm not looking at what's face-to-face -face I'm encountering daily because of things that I'm doing either physically or with coworkers. So that's an example of what I'm prepared to have to really undo and work at redoing. Frankly, I think that with it in my sixth house and my health being pretty good, I don't really have any chronic physical health issues. I'm thinking it more is like, is there any coworker situation or person that I've hired that I'm going to have to really go back and rethink and undo, which could be likely being an early startup and an early company. I have to restructure things down the line or deal with things that are like employee related, you know, having to uh, muddy or undo some muddy shit. Um, so right now I'm trying to think about, okay, what's really going, going to go well in my workplace dynamic that 
I might have to redo if it's not clear and I'm not honest with myself. So just letting everyone know that for the world in general, there might be some great advances in tech that we really value that we have to majorly go back and undo, possibly due to, um, I'm thinking with the square to Neptune, thinking that it's an improvement but ends up being like a data breach or uh, uh, not using not using information ethically. I don't want to say Cambridge Analytica 2.0, but that kind of reminiscence is really resonant because Venus and Gemini valuing the mental, valuing the data, um, squaring Neptune. Oof, didn't notice that. Oof, that went over my head. That's the kind of shit that I'm expecting coming up. And I don't really have that much to say on this right now uh, because it just came to mind and I wanted to share it. If you know the Gemini house in your chart, feel free to check uh, check and then comment down below what you're expecting. I shared my example, but I do want to you know talk about that. I think December will be a high point of this really coming to a head when it's Sagittarius season, when there's a full moon in Gemini at the end of the year, sometime in December. I don't know the exact date, but that's the kind of time when I think it'll be like, aha, so this is the shit really coming to a head that I'm having to undo, even though Mars will enter Gemini this fall and then go retrograde in October. So it's not just, you know, that, that Mars is about to enter Taurus uh, in a few weeks and then it stays in Gemini, I believe, for six months. I could be wrong on that, but I believe that's the figure that comes to head. Again, very off the cuff video. My outfit for, for um, the events tonight, I think, is really cute. I kind of want to show it. I kind of don't really want to move this camera, but as this, like, this detailing. So, uh, as always, this is turning into an impromptu thirst trap. But my arms are looking really great lately. Lately, Like, I really upped my weights and my berries classes and just lifting at the gym. So, um, why am I doing this? I guess I just don't want to flash everyone. Too late to make everyone... I, I, need, to, I need to stop. I need to get off. Um, anyway... <laughs> If you have any thoughts or uh, comments about this Venus Venus and Gemini transit and then coming up v uh, Mars retrograde in Gemini at the end of the year, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this was like a, a universal PSA here. And uh, yeah, going to head out to my event. Actually, I need to film some vlog footage because I, I, I went to Steve Aoki last night. Steve Aoki fucking comes out at one of these uh, NFT NYC parties. I'm like, of course, only in crypto. Okay, cool. Uh, I need to film NFT NYC vlog stuff. So I'm uh, off to my event and I will see you in the next one.